Well, without further ado, I will read from one of the poems of my Chinese language poetry collection, Kiren Ao Shou, Kiren Speaks, which is me speaking about my different thoughts on relationships, love, and language in a sort of question and answer dialectic that I have constructed, taking elements of Hindu bhakti tradition with uh, Confucian rhetoric skills. And so my boyfriend asked, what uh, is a question in which I imagined a person, or not really, it's actually based a little bit on a real person, a boy I really liked from Russia, who was of Korean heritage, who I was very close to. We were seeing each other for some time and we had a fairly close and intimate relationship. And he inspired me once in a while to write poetry. And when I was in Russia, it was just when I had come from China. So the Chinese language was fresher on my mind than it is now. This was back in 2017. And so I just wanted to write some poems in relation to him. And so this is one of the poems. I will read it first in Mandarin, which some of you might understand, but the vast majority of you will not, and then I'll read it in English. Ni 你无法明白我这那儿是可能要知道我想让你看看在你特内的所有部分我想让你成处我的这项在何方我想和你如婆婆与我前面变成小有肉动在女性的身体里直到她在她身体里消失换 and now I will read from the English section. My boyfriend asked, why do you like me? I answered, because according to nature, we should be together. It is not what the universe dictated by law. It was never a government mandate, nor the will of the heavens. It is simply the nature of you and I together. It is natural for you and me. Let me give an example. The ocean is made of many particles. When the ocean is moved, the ocean does not know why it's being moved, it simply reacts. You are like the ocean. You move me, I move you. I do not know where you begin, you do not know where I end. You don't know. I want you to see every part of me. I want you to know the limits of me. I want to mate with you the way the anglerfish does, to be that little fish that squirms into the female body. In spirit, we are two. In body, we are one. And uh, so let me just explain some things. Uh, the anglerfish reference was extremely difficult. Actually, that was something I thought in English first, and I had to squirm through a way to figure out how to say that in Chinese, because I was like, I didn't even know what an anglerfish was in Mandarin. So I had to ask around, and a lot of people didn't know even the concept of the fish. So it was a, a lot of, uh, it was very difficult. The idea of huitong, movement, uh, was something, however, that was more in Mandarin first, and as well as the idea of igorot, like the idea of being one body, one flesh. Uh, I wanted to play with the idea of movement and ocean and the way that we as humans can also be kind of particles of mind existence. And, how we can connect and disseminate even if we're in different bodies and how love can give that feeling that even though we're separated by flesh we still somehow are one <laughs> although i guess in this case i said that we are spirit to body one rather than the opposite which would be maybe what would make more sense but i also think in a certain way playing with the idea of ocean and particles that also bodies even if they're separate in flesh can become one in a certain way so that is basically what I was thinking of when I chose to write this poem. <laughs>